Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's see how to create a Microsoft Fabric account from scratch. In my previous video, I explained about how to start a Microsoft Fabric trial without work email and I recommended to use Microsoft 365 developer account to create it. But few of them mentioned in comment that Microsoft 365 developer account creation process is throwing error. So in this video, I came up with an alternative way to create a Microsoft account using Azure. Yes, I will explain you how to create a Microsoft Azure account and how to create new user in it, then how to use that username and password to log in Microsoft Fabric. I explain the complete process step by step in simple language so that it will be useful for many to utilize Microsoft Fabric without any work email. Okay, without wasting the time, let's see how to create an account for Microsoft Fabric. In your browser, type Azure free account and it will list out the websites. From that select azure.microsoft.com. Once you click on that link, it will take you to this Microsoft page. In this page, click on try Azure for free to use Azure services for free or you can click on pay as you go to use paid Azure services. For now, I will click on try Azure for free. Next, it will ask you to enter your email address. Once you provided, click on next. Once you click on next, it might ask you set up Microsoft Authenticator in your mobile for security purpose. If it asks, then please set up it. Next, you need to fill up your profile. Like, what is the purpose of this Azure account? Which country or region? Your first name, middle name and last name. Then enter your email address, mobile number, company name, address and city. Once you entered all these details, it will ask you to complete the CAPTCHA verification. Once you complete, you will get verification complete message. Then click on the checkbox to accept the terms and conditions of Microsoft. Then click next. It will ask your card details. Don't worry, they won't detect any amount unless you select pay as you go or your free account expired. Yes, now we entered into the Azure home page. In this home page, select home. Now we are going to create a user to log in Microsoft Fabric. For that, type user in search bar. Then it will take you to the users page, select new user. From this list, choose create new user to create a user for Microsoft Fabric. In this create new user page, choose your username, display name and you can enter your password. Don't change that domain. Click review and create. Once again, you can review your input and if any changes required, you can do it immediately. If there is no any changes, then click create. Now a new account with display name Petaka has been created and you can use this username by copying it. Yes. We got our email ID and password for logging into Microsoft Fabric. 
Now open a new browser and type app.fabric.com and enter your username and click next. Now enter your password and click on sign in. It will ask you to update your current password with new password. Please do it and click on sign in. Now it will ask you to create a Microsoft Fabric free account. Click on continue. Enter your country, job title and mobile number and click get started. Now you can confirm and click on get started button. Yes, we achieved. We entered into the Microsoft Fabric home page using our credentials. In right hand side under profile icon, you can see the details of your profile. Also, you can see free trial option. Just click on it. Once you click on free trial button, it will ask your confirmation to activate your 60 days free fabric trial capacity. Select your region and click on activate to enable your 60 days free trial. I hope now you understood the complete process of creating an Azure account and creating a user profile for Microsoft Fabric and how to use those credentials to log in Microsoft Fabric then how to activate your 60 days Microsoft Fabric free trial from scratch. I believe this video resolves all your confusion on creating a Microsoft Fabric account and how to start with Microsoft Fabric without work email. If this video helpful to you, give a like to this video and share this video with others. To get notifications on upcoming Microsoft Fabric videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. Ask your questions or give your feedback in video comment section. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.